then see you there. Oh. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I thought I would film a video inspired by my shorts, <laughs> basically. I have never been somebody that has distressed denim. Never. I just feel that it's just not my vibe. It's not me, I'm not that cool, and um, I just didn't think it'd be flattering on me, to be honest. At the beginning of summer, I filmed a festival lookbook situation, and I wore these shorts for that, and then I also wore them loads at the actual festival, and subsequently, I pretty much wear these shorts every single day. So, I thought I would do a video styling up a pair of distressed denim jeans. I got these ones from Pretty Little Thing, and they're a size eight. I saw them on the website, I was like, that is not me. That ain't me, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work this but I literally love them. And the fact they're actually quite big, but the fact they're quite big is quite comfortable and that looks nice with kind of baggier t-shirts, but sometimes if you're wearing a crop top or whatever, you need a belt. I couldn't recommend them enough. I love the color, I love the washed out denim, and I love the exact point of the rips. I think that's what makes them flattering. I thought today I would show you four ways to style this pair of shorts. I think these are perfect for the weather now as we're kind of, it's not cold yet, so there's still time to wear this pair of shorts, um, but I thought I would show you a couple of ways that I like styling them at this precise moment in time. I've got four looks, let's get into it. Okay, first up is, I'm out of breath. This top is actually a way that I wore them the other day. I paired it with this top, which I got from, I believe, I got it from Urban Outfitters, from a brand called Alice in the Eve, and they want to tell me about it quite a few times. Yep. I probably can't think this because I remember I got this at university, so it's pretty old, but it's just a black kind of knitted top with a cut out back. I will try and leave something similar to this. It's just a vest top with no sleeves, black. And I paired that with a really, really nice belt that I'm obsessed with. I think I pretty much paired this belt with everything after I put it with this one outfit. This is my Holland Cooper belt, which is just incredible. I love it. I also love the way that it does up. You basically slide it through here and it pops in with the poppers. So yeah, really like that belt and I think it adds a little bit of, you know, an expensive look to the ensemble with a nice, you know, classic bag. Wait, did I wear? One cannot remember. I actually wore that exact outfit the other day in London and then a long cardigan, um, but God knows where that long cardigan's gone, so couldn't show you that. Next outfit is actually another little Holland Cooper situation. So this, it's from Holland Cooper. It's basically just a really simple t-shirt. It's the best, like nicest quality t-shirt that I have ever had. Like it feels amazing. This I got in a size medium just because their size is like a fit, kind of a fitted t-shirt and I wanted a little bit more of an oversized look. It goes really nicely with obviously the Holland Cooper logo and the shorts. And I also paired that with a fedora from Holland Cooper. They did gift me um, these pieces. I'm in no way obliged to talk about them. I'm just clearly upset. This is just such a nice hat. I've spoken about this hat before. It's been in my favorites many, many times. I love the look of this fedora and it's just such amazing quality. It's got this nice detailing around it. And I think all together, this amps up a very affordable pair of shorts and makes them look a lot more expensive. Our final look, which is this. Oh no, it's not, because I got another one. One, two. Okay, look, that will be better for when the weather maybe gets a little bit colder, maybe in the evening. It's kind of like a little sexy, but also more covered look. This turtleneck, which is just a really nice uh, nude beige camel colored turtleneck, which is from Zara, obviously, because I get all of my turtleneck from, turtlenecks from Zara. They do like one every single year and they have different kind of buttons on the sleeves. So this one's got these uh, gold flat buttons. I will definitely probably, definitely probably, be buying some more of these this year. Then I paired it with my literal favorite pair of boots that I have ever bought in my whole entire life. These uh, mango snakeskin, faux snakeskin, because I got so much abuse once and it's like, Huns, I couldn't afford that. That was real snakeskin, nor would I buy it. <laughs> Fake snakeskin, thigh high boots, and they've got a little bit of a heel slash it's quite a big heel for me. I want to wear these more, so I really like that look together. They're so comfortable and easy to walk in because they're just like tight to your legs, so you feel secure. It looks really cool together, nice beige tones that go with it. Final look, I thought I would just show you another way that I very often wear that pair of shorts. 
don't know why I can't think of the words today. And that is just with this little jumper, which is from Brandy Melville. I think it's very kind of 90s vibes, really comfortable. I could imagine this being on like a beach and just being really, really comfortable. So this is something that I'd probably wear in an evening at a festival or evening in a summer holiday with the shorts. I think it's just a really nice way of, you know, when you've got a tan, get your legs out, get your shorts on, but you want to be warm. Okay, I've got Aztec. Aztec. What is that? Atex. Atex? A. You know when you're at school and you do PE and it's like a little bit see through? The t shirts? That vibe. It's kind of that material. And that is actually everything for my styling, my distressed denim shorts. I hope you guys like this video. I'll leave all of the products in the description box or similar ones because quite a lot of this I don't know whether I can find it online. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.